Welcome back to the channel guys. This is Matt Cart with me, my beautiful life, Veronica. Go to the garage sales and thrift stores to find things to resell on our eBay store. And it's actually March 29th today. I know you guys have been seeing this in April, but look at this. We still got snow, March 29th. I mean, it's possible. In Toronto, it, it's not something that wouldn't happen ever, but I feel like this might be more of a regular thing here in Calgary, but yeah, not very good, not very good. Nevertheless, we're on our way to the Goodwill bins and we're hoping to grab some Lego, maybe some video games today. Because last time we went, there really wasn't any media bins. I'm really Really craving media events and video games today, so let's see what we get. We came super early, as you can see. There's literally no one else in the parking lot. Holy cow! And we can't see where the actual dividers are for the parking spots. So I'm just gonna call this a spot. There you go. That's no, you a spot. Go more to the front. You're you gotta go more to the front. The middle of what? <laughs> well, you're judging those. No, I don't know if those more. cars. I don't know if those. Go ones more. Are go more. You park in the one that is in the front. Okay, we're doing this, yeah. Ooh. All right, there. Sure, this is fine. I think this is fine. Yeah, so we're here. It's actually, well, it's actually 8.30. This is a little off, so we're literally here 30 minutes early. Good thing I have my coffee and my donut to finish in the car, but hoping it's going to be a good day. It's a holiday, so it could be either really good or really bad uh, based on how many people are there. The last day we were here at the Good Old Bins, it was really packed, like super packed at the Good Old Bins, but I still managed to find some great stuff. So hoping the same thing can happen today. Think it's gonna be busy today? You think so? Uh, it's a holiday, it's tough to it say is, because- but then, you know what? I was thinking the kids can't get here because the buses yeah. don't run very well. Yeah. Busy yesterday. I don't know. We were lucky to have toy bins that were left from the night before that we could go through before any new toy bins came out. And I actually did find a few LPS dolls. So I think there was a pretty decent win at the beginning of the day. There's one bin that was left to actually, I'm finding some LPS dolls in here, which is this. Other ones that kind of look like they might be LPS, but they're not. But finding two LPS in the morning, there's actually some stuff from some stuff left before is actually pretty, pretty cool. So I'm gonna add this to the cart for the day. After about 30 minutes, there were no new toy bins that showed up. So I felt like I was just sitting there hanging around as the bins got busier and busier. Just hanging around. Just found this guy hiding underneath one of the bins. This is actually Sam Witwicky from the Revenge of the Fallen Transformers film from 2009. A decent amount of points of articulation on this figure, and I've seen them sell between like 10 to even $30 on eBay, so a really tiny, really good score for the amount they're gonna be paying at the bin, so almost free. As of the editing of this video, we actually sold this tiny little figure for $23. Great little mini flip. Stop giving up. So this is it. First crates of the day. Just hanging out. And unfortunately, we didn't find anything in that toy bin, but another toy bin came out almost immediately that was mostly filled with plushies. And we ended up grabbing two plushies, one Pikachu and then one Jelly Cat, but it really wasn't a great day. I was lucky enough to log into my Facebook account and I found a great Facebook marketplace deal for some GameCube games. So I'm on my way now to pick those up instead of sticking around at the Goodwill bins. Okay, so not the greatest day at the Goodwill bins, but luckily I went on to Facebook marketplace today and I noticed that there was a GameCube Lot. It was five games, none of them were super fantastic games, but $15 for everything or five bucks a game. Two of the games were worth over $40 Canadian each. So I'm super excited. We're actually driving south. It's like a 30 minute drive south of Calgary, all the way down to a small town to actually pick these up. So I'm super excited. He left them in a bin outside of his veranda. So hopefully they're still there when we actually get there. So I don't have to knock on the door or anything, just make it more awkward. I already sent him an e-transfer in advance. So it's gonna be an easy transaction just the way I like it. Let's check on these games. So I'm back home after that 35 minute drive south of Calgary, just got back in. So just got back in from that 35 minute drive south of Calgary and it was pretty good, honestly. GameCube games in general are getting harder and harder to come by and we grabbed five for $15, which is a fantastic deal. And I'll show you why I bought them. Because first impressions, they don't look really good, but I'll explain. 
Going Quackers and War of the Whiskers. These two sell for at least $40 Canadian each. So you're looking at around, let's call it $80 for those two. Now this game here, maybe like 10 to $15. This one here about 10 to 15 as well, maybe. Probably closer to 10. And this one obviously isn't worth too much. This is like literally like one of the cheapest games you can actually get for GameCube. So I mostly got it for these two games. I still think it's a really good deal. And honestly, the listing just popped up. So I was probably the first person to message him. So I was really lucky. Honestly, that's what it's all about, luck. Because I never usually get that when it comes to GameCube games, especially in Calgary on Facebook Marketplace. So we actually got lucky today and we scored pretty well. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And with that being said, may your carts always be full.